Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're truly not as into the mad. Last time we had a little bit of trouble with uh, radiation storm brewing outside. Uh, luckily it's inaudible this deep in that place. Which is nice. How may I assist you? Because it was really noisy as well. Anyway, what I meant was Yeah, radiation storm. Terrible. Terrible radiation storm. And I was planning on actually going to Camp McLaren as well, but nope, the radiation storm. Other than that, we just browsed around Vault 3. Hi. You don't want to talk to me? Okay. You really don't want to talk to me. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about. Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Alright, well that explains why I couldn't talk to him. So who I actually need to talk to was the guy who actually fixes the shit. Right. Hey. But then we can talk to the elder. Hello, I need you to fix shit. Good to see you. Alive that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Yep. Really? I mean that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. Yep. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. Yeah, Poon, your face is right. So what do we do? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. Uh, what could we bring to him that will change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. All right, let's try it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. You were talking to me from quite a distance away. Making me stare at Boone's face. Uh, we'll look into the terminal. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. What? The... Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. So it didn't, didn't actually do anything right now. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Rex. Are you stuck in here? Are you stuck in the floor, Rex? Get out of the floor, Rex. Rex! That's no place for a puppy to be in. That didn't help. That did not help at all. I'm sure he'll travel with his film book channel or something. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? I did. Lorenzo is on it. <sighs> Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence. 
But I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios. But I left that battle scarred by fear, and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Nifty, thanks. The brother likes me now. Nice. Welcome, outsider, welcome. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. But I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? Can I change the brotherhood? You've certainly earned the right. But I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? Sure. As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain, and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Yeah, it did work. Alright, the only issue with this is that Rex is free! Rex is free, never mind. No issue. <laughs> Rex has been freed. Which is excellent news. Bloody excellent news. Uh, now, what do we want? Oh, wait. They have a trader. And they have a fair bit of excess guns. Is that the word? I mean, I have stuff I don't need. Do you have anything you can trade to me? Sure. I heard we have you to thank for McNamara having a change of heart. Thank you. So what can I do for you? I need medical supplies. I suppose I have a few things around that I can spare. Yay. I hope they're good things. She literally just gave away to Sandy Roots. There's no price tag on that. That's awesome. And that'll do. Thank you for your money. See ya. Thanks. Later. Got some additional right away, got some proc flowers and stuff. Hey. Wait, wait, do you have a table for doing science on? You don't. Interesting. That is quite uh, surprising, indeed. You, you have money, right? Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this store, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? Uh, stuff. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. No, that's really appropriate because stuff is exactly what I'm looking for. All right, I guess this will do. Thank you for your Pleasure money. Pleasure doing business with you. Goodbye. Bye. That was just two magnums to the sold. Just two magnums. I should look into missing the car runners again, maybe. Uh, how's my carry weight? Yeah, I can only carry 16. But I can probably do a lot of 16. I mean, I assist you. Wait. Probably. But I'd still like a chance. Hey, how are you doing now that the lockdown is turned? Your presence? presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. Uh, yeah, he must. Later. Especially considering that he lifted the lockdown now that I have been here and helped him out with stuff. Surely that must play a role in uh, how I am so bloody amazingly bloody useful. Yeah. 
It's quite excellent, if I may say so myself. Uh, Veronica, we should probably go and check that computer for your information. Uh, which computer do you want? I could make you care. There you are. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend of the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Thanks. Well, um... The quest marker doesn't actually display... Do we... Oh, is... Don't tell me that... Oh, it probably is Atelius. But I should probably go there anyway. Because I've got people to help there. Maybe. But uh, let's start off with eyesight to the blind. What's this? Well, that's also about going to the mountain. Namely for visit meeting up with the fellow we did meet up with earlier. I'll just bounce right to Neil's shack. Yeah. Or is it pronounced Neil? That makes no sense. Anyway. Where's my gun? I don't have a lot of ammo on this gun. Oh. Super mutant down. How did that miss? You're mine. Okay, uh, there are enemies still cautious of us, so let's be very, very careful. There we go. I think we're fine now. Let's keep on heading on in. Or keep on heading on. <laughs> uh, uh. Is this the right path even? Well, it is the buff that says stay the fuck out, so it probably is. Ooh, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I don't want the minigun though. The minigun is a bit more heavier. What did you have? Just a hammer? Yeah, just a hammer. A super sledge at that, but still just a hammer. And that's... Not really good. Right then. Moving right on. There are things about that need to be dealt with. <coughs> oh. oh, right, these fellows. Nightkin. I forgot about them. I probably shouldn't have. Especially with the senses, I should be able to notice them as well if I... Wait. How do we these senses work for that? I know I, I can, it means I can grab them with what's, but other than that... How will it do? Like, will there be an enemy marker on the radar? Or do I just have to spam what's every now and then to make sure I don't have Nightkin on my screen? the story. Okay, all the enemies appear to be up there. So my options are either to follow the road or to try and grab that route. Which all enough seems just a little bloody. So I think the traps have all been triggered. Which is really convenient for us, but on the other hand... Also relevant to us because I think we're using this road. It certainly looks like we're using the road, doesn't it? It really does, doesn't it? I think it does, yeah. Just cautiously, slowly moving along this road. Waiting for someone to shoot in the head. Alright, we have a marker. of the enemy kind available to us, so... It's a super mutant master! Or it was, anyway. 
Did I get the shot? The last shot or not? Because I'm really not sure. So I guess we want to go like behind that hill and up the hill. Maybe. There's probably still lots of super mutants around. Oh, I'm probably gonna get take that route now or something like that. Also, watch out for Nightkin. Like spam bots. Spam it! Spam it until there are no red markers left. Well, actually, there are no red markers here right now, so I um, don't oh, know. Sure, crafting grenades. It's not like I have any explosive skill, but you know. Oh, I did put two points in there now. So I have some explosive skill. But you know, just enough to be completely and absolutely irrelevant. So yeah. Anyway, apparently what's is better for energy weapons than it is for ballistic weapons because with ballistic weapons you just get this fun stuff and it's accurate like that. Why well, you don't get that pleasure with energy weapons because they don't have any accuracy? I shot him twice, he should have died. Unless the sneak crit is just that powerful. Alright, let's wait for them. Oh, there's one. Another master. Look at him. Okay, the last one didn't notice us either. That's another master. So, it's all good. It's all good. Except Poon destroyed the minigun. But that's fine. We would have been using it anyway. Okay, that's another light machine gun. Sure, and that allows me to repair mine up to be nice and pretty, pretty pleasant. Heavy incinerate. Oh, that's what you broke. This was a minigun. Apparently not. In that case, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so what can I repair up now? My light machine gun with another light machine gun. Oh! The light machine guns are apparently good for repairing the sniper rifle as well. Because the sniper rifle apparently is an automatic weapon. Uh, it's not a bolt action one. Like the warmints and the hunting rifles and the like. And as such, it needs to be repaired with assault rifles and the like. Oh god, I am probably going to sneeze. I'm going to try and avoid that fate. For now. Maybe until the end of the episode, then sneeze between the episodes. And then record another one. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. What's really active over here? What is it? I'm gonna sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, there we go. Well, that's solved. In one way or another. Um, I'm not sure this is the right path. Or if it is, it's bloody radioactive. Not extremely, but still quite a bit. Um, just toss me a red X. So we don't get this radioactivity. As powerfully, like on the first second. Apparently, this area here is no longer radioactive, so never mind. Okay, there's another target visible to us. First shot taken. Can't run from me. Let the bastard is sprinting right for us. And Rex bit his balls off. Clean off. I actually don't think they have balls, because they go... You know, all the mutant uh, super mutants have the anatomy of a Gen doll. Because of the whole fact that you can't really tell who was female and who was not. Because they all turn bloody gender neutral. Like, not even bloody, just gender neutral.
Alright, there's someone inside here. Let's be smart about this. Oh, this is probably that guy. That's how the super mutant master. You're mine. For being smart about it, I mean let's let Rex handle it. Because he didn't actually bring the weapon I probably need to use for killing super mutants. I wonder if there are any other super mutant killing locations other than this. Okay, that explains radiation. Radioactivity. Trouble. Oh, that wasn't the stealth kill, apparently. Oh, that's a death claw. That is a death claw. I'm gonna try my best to help out, but I'm not that I'm sure it will work. But that didn't really do anything. Do you have a hand? I will take your hand in marriage. Uh, don't marry Deathclaw, they are probably not very, very, you know... I think they'd be very, uh, let's say abusive as spouses. Oh, lots of body gaps there. Beautiful. There's a friendly sign over here somewhere. Oh, that's him. Needle's just waiting outside. Where's the bloody. Here? Almost. Broken bow been there. That's okay, we have like 50. I am usually very much like anti lose any improved insta. Okay, so we have some radiation poisoning already, apparently. That's nice. Guess the red X must have worn off. Okay, what do we have? Nothing. Nothing and lots and lots of nothing. Okay. Neil, you probably want a word, don't you? A pleasant surprise to see you made it. I'm ready to get started if you are. Let's do it. Here's the plan. The gate to Tabitha's compound is guarded by several Nightkin, all of them using devices that make them invisible. I'm going to draw them away from the gate by telling them I spotted an intruder in the village. Then you slip in. It's a plan. I am an intruder in the village. Yes. So try to stay out of sight, because they'll be coming this way. Classy. Well, at least it's stuck, so we can actually go ahead and uh, solve this ourselves. That looks like a nightgame. Trouble. Can't run from me. Yep. Sneak attack critical on the sniper. Master. That's Neil. Yeah, he's in the problem. That guy there is a problem there. And no longer do we get this aim boost from uh, them being stealthed. Well, Rex get it. Good job, Rex. I knew I could trust in you. Alright, Neil, how do you feel about this? I've done what I can. The rest is up to you, Neil. Ah, that's kind. That's very kind of you. So another light machine gun? I'll take it. My sniper rifle is sink somewhere and there, so it might be useful. Well actually let's give it a try, shall we? I don't know how good it will be for sneak attacks. It might work otherwise. Um, that may have been my, my work. Odds are that Boon helped out quite a bit. Okay, also radiation. Decrease it. Okay, 
Ooh, Annabelle, hello. Welcome to the party. Ooh, Annabelle, hello. I'm not sure what these do, but I have apparently used all of them. Hi, Boon. So, I guess what you want to do is get inside this building. So that's where the marker is seemingly heading. I got the second floor of this stuff. Okay, what's in this terminal? I think the password is... Ah, uh, stamina? <laughs> that was pretty much not what I actually expected it to be, but okay. We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of those worlds for himself and his family. And when he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we, we all knew where he went. Oh my god, it's actually happening. We have readings across the board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they've had, and it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can personally type. The Mount Tian shielded us from the worst of the blast, but there's too much to radiate. Oh, that's the same one. Wow, I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible and the radiation should keep the majority of people away. Looks like we've found a home at least for now. First things first though. We've got to get these corpses out of here, poor bastards. Oh, so Marcus stopped by over here. I guess it didn't work out very well there, eh? Suppose it wasn't a defensible enough location maybe? What do we have here? Stamina? No? Uh, do this. Yeah, okay, I missed it, but you know, it was still the right password. And I'm still surprised that I managed that. Marcus made it up with the leader of this community. Marcus said I should start keeping the journal to get my mind off, off Ronda. He also said I might find something interesting inside the stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works is here is this chunky terminal. It's amazing, this place is a radio station. If we can get it repaired, we can broadcast music across the way. It's just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, Rhonda, how I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all of the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you. Which makes me doubt they can fix this place. The radio station is fixed and we've gone sending our message out into the desert. Marcus thinks he spent too much time in here, but what does a first gem know? Rhonda says they're just one step up from Dum Dums, and I agree. Delight. There was a fight in the yard today between some of us and the first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together, but why should we? We're the master's favorites. We don't need their help. Rhonda says we'd be better off without them. Marcus and others left today, finally. We have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and can't say on the air. The airwaves will be free. Now Rhonda and I can host our own radio show like we've been planning. I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. He always started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Rhonda says he was afraid she was too smart to control. Anyway, this is too s the start of a new era. The only downside is most of the dum dums chose to stay. Safe. I finally got control to finish installing the security measures on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dum dum moment, I placed the spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, so it should be safe from discovery. Great news, a ghoul entered our camp today who has experience fixing machines. He seems to be really like it like it here, so I'm hoping he can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird, but Rhonda just asked me why she would need fixing. She has a point, what was it thinking? Oh well, Nightkin. That's their schizophrenia for you. Schizophrenia? No, you know however it's pronounced. Because I honestly don't know how it's pronounced. Tool cabinet, what do we have? Scrap metal. I didn't actually need that. Here's the staircase. 
And here's the door reaction. Oh. But in that case, we need to find the stake. It is probably the very staircase we just were at. Probably. Let's check it. It might be a different one, but I don't think it is. Right, let's see. There we go. Key got. Anyway, thanks for watching. I just noticed we have gone pretty long this episode, so I'll see you next time. Let's dance. Uh, someone is requesting dance lessons now.